So, this is the start of my hair video. Don't know what I'm going to call it. Hair transformation, hair makeover, something. But, um, this is basically the morning of before I'm going to get my hair done. Um, yeah. So, I'm getting it colored. Bleached and colored because it's already colored and bleached. But, it's like not good. It's not good. Alright? And so, we're going to the same hairdresser we did it before. But, last time I didn't specify that I... Ooh, what is that? Is this just... Oh, my God. I didn't specify what I wanted her to do. Like, if I wanted, I wanted her to make it super blonde. So now I know I'm to make it super blonde. This will also be like a bit of a review as well. And I'm going to let you know what hair color I'm using, but I'm not letting you know what color it is. So, um, it looks like a specific color, but it's not that. So, I'm using Iro Iro. And, yeah. So that's all I'm going to tell you about it. And then I'll explain more in depth, because I was definitely have... I'll definitely be able to have more of this later when I come back, and that'll also explain why I'll be able to keep the packaging and stuff like that. But right now, I used Ira Ira before, so I'm just I wanted to use it twice before I could give a full review on it. And so right now, my hair—if you can't really see it—I think it's like well, you can't really see it, but some of it is purple still. It wasn't great because I wanted it to be like a bright purple stuff like that, but it didn't come out that way because as again, she just like bleached it and didn't put any toner in it, so it was just this, like nasty brass color so now we know to do that and yeah my hair still looks like a mess from the other video you saw this is currently the day the day after the last video that I posted so I need to actually edit that so I will catch you guys later when I'm probably in the process of like getting it bleached and stuff so yeah if I feel comfortable enough to actually vlog that but who's who know all right bye guys I'm home now, and I'm going to try my mom my hair. Come in to the dark side, child. It's not a dark side. <laughs> I'm really nervous because it's like... Come on. I can see some of it. You want to see? Turn around. It's not... It's really loud, but you can... I mean, I'm fine with that. That's what I wanted the first time, but it mm. didn't come out. But, like... The blonde is legit yellow. Yeah, it's well, not you like... you can still see the blonde through it. Yeah! Okay, also, okay. I'm mad about it. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Easy killer. It's hot, and I'm okay, stressed. Okay, so... This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy the blue, we're gonna get, get the... the dark blue. Get a dark blue. And mix it in? You could... I'll color it for you here. No, I told Nina that I'd bring it next time, and I'll get a dark a blue, she could mix it mm -hmm. in with it. She said, okay. Well, no, the dark blue, you can put on by yourself, and you'll get the color that you really want. Yeah. Look but at that. Don't you see it's, it's really, yellow? I know idea, but I'm I gonna, like it, but it's not it what looks, I wanted right now. I know. Maybe but, later on in life, but not right now. No, later on in life you should be over with this. No. But you need to tone down because you're looking for summer jobs and you can't go with that bright of a green hair. Jeez, Louise. Okay? People who work in offices should not be this judgmental. It's not that big of a deal with my you hair. To take a picture, send it to me. I can send it to Yanoli. No, are we going to Yanoli's house soon? I want to surprise her. Well, take my picture because I was going to send it to Auntie Jay. Okay. Yeah, Auntie Jay will take it. Okay. Chalet's upstairs. Let's show Chalet. Let's go. I'm going to not bring my keys. We're going to go show Chalet. I did it. She gonna notice this. Yeah. You just did that? Mm-hmm. Oh. It wasn't supposed to look like this. What it was it supposed, supposed to look like? It was like a bit more blue. But the blonde is like yellow. Why are you putting on this side? Because I didn't want any on this side. So I did last time. She did it black this time. though. That's why it looks darker. She like 
dyed it black. Oh, you should have put some like on the on the tips right here. No, I would look like an absolute idiot if you put it on the ends. Oh my gosh. It looks cute. Thank you. Do you like it? Yeah, but I just wish it would be a different color. I was like, well, hold on, we're gonna go find a, we're gonna go to a different hair stylist next time if I get my hair colored. But I said, she doesn't really know how to bleach hair. She only knows. I'm waiting to show Yana Lee later. Oh, she'll probably have a bigger reaction than you do. I thought you were oh gonna push me out of your house. Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna let you take it in. Um, I'll let you take it in. I'll wait here. So have you gotten it in? Have you taken it in? Have is it, you know? Okay. So this is what my hair looks like now. It's actually different from what I expected it to be. And that is kind of my hairdresser's fault and not her fault um she's not really great when it comes to like bleaching hair she's just really good for like like making sure it stays healthy and stuff like that which is all i can ever ask for because then if it doesn't stay healthy i can't do stuff like this and so um i used ira iro so i'm gonna do a review on it because like I wanted to use it like a few times before I actually like reviewed it and tried it like tried it out so I knew different colors and so um yeah hold on let me get the color for you and I'll be right back okay so this is the color it's emerald green and as you can see how my hair looks and how this is supposed to look it's two totally different colors this is originally supposed to look like a bluish green almost like a mermaid mermaid color like you were a mermaid of the ocean and i wasn't really paying attention to that but it does still look kind of like a mermaid color so i'm kind of i'm okay with that kind i love mermaids like h2o just said water like add me to your cast um but yeah i was going to talk i want to talk about this because i think a lot more people should know about this company and i'll talk about it. so iro iro is supposed to is a hundred percent vegan and cruelty free um well obviously they're a hair dye company and there are a lot of great things about this company they're 100 as i said they're 100 percent vegan and cruelty free and um they don't use any products like peroxide ppd ammonia alcohol petrol based chemicals chemical preservatives and synthetic fragrances so what they use, what do they use then? I don't really don't know. I don't want to try reading any of these words, but um, so it basically there's coconut oil in here, and then I think there's yuzu, yuzu something. I forgot the other product is yuzu being like scent, can't berry scent or something like that. And there's quinoa protein, which is obviously great just putting protein back in my hair semi-permanent I got an emerald green and yeah I think this is great I honestly think this is a great color the first time I had my hair purple it was actually violet and it was really dark I got it down for my birthday so like I guess you could saw that see in the vlogs and some of the videos close my birth around my birthday that um I got it done before my birthday and then like, a few vlogs after few videos after a few months in it was purple and stuff like that but um this is actually the lightest i've ever gone like this is crazy and yes it's half and half disclaimer let me put this out here because i know there's many people out there like oh my god is she like copying this person no i am not copying melanie martinez yes i although i am very sad that the situation has happened i'm very sad that she chose to make those decisions when she has a very good career and she shouldn't have made those decisions and I feel very bad for Timothy, Timothy, oh, I think it's Timothy Green, something like that. I forgot her last name is, but I feel very bad for Timothy and I hope she's okay. I hope her mental state's okay. Um, so, yeah, but no, I'm not trying to follow Melanie Martinez. Even though Melanie Martinez, I did, I do like, I did like, did, did like Melanie Martinez. 
Um, no, this is actually from, I got this inspiration from the YouTuber Pixelux. I think at one point in time, oh, I'm sorry, I'm like throwing this around, this around. At one point in time, um, Pixelux had her hair like half and half, and I saw it. And then I was also saw that, um, Melanie Martinez had it, but this is, I was Pix a Pixelux, like, fan before I was a Melanie Martinez fan. And so I didn't find out about Melanie Martinez, like, like, maybe eighth grade, and I found out about Pixelux in seventh grade. So, yeah. And... She had half and half. It was like a, like a, a brownish blonde, like the color I kind of had for at first, and it was a uh, her brown. So like it was a nice color. I liked it. I was like, oh my god, I would love to do that. So I first did that, and then it's progressed onto going into like a dark purple, and now it's this like mermaidy green. And as well, my hairdresser did dye this side of my hair black. So like all of my hair is colored right now, which is I don't know how it's gonna affect my hair, but like we'll see how it is i really hate this lighting i'm going to get different lighting because this is really bad lighting anyway yeah so this is basically going to be just a video this video is just gonna be like me reviewing it me the reactions to my hair and stuff like that but this product is really good the first time i got it it was purple and it um purple was was really it was going everywhere Really, my mom has my mom's headboard has a stain on it because I got purple dyed, and this was even after like months after, like probably two months after I had gotten my hair dyed, and it was like fading everywhere, it was getting everywhere, it was literally dying everything. I had to throw out my pink um, pillowcases and everything because it was all over the place, and I constantly had to wash my headbands that I wear to sleep because they were literally it was literally dying everything, but. I went to sleep, it's basically, I've got, this is like the next day after I got my hair done, but, um, this hair dye, so far that I've tried, didn't, um, didn't do anything, like, didn't dye into my pillow that I've seen, anything like that, granted it was like 6 o'clock in the morning when I paid attention to my pillow, so, yeah, but, other than that, and also, this is, um, this is a cream-based, um, hair dye so it puts moisture back into your hair after bleaching because this is a really light bleach that I did and I'm very happy that I did this because um it's really light and it's also kind of bad for my hair but I've dyed my hair a few times I like did like a dip dye so she kind of did like a balayage at first but it was like very like a very compared to other balayages it wasn't that great but it was a nice balayage like it went up and everything like that so it was a nice it was cute um but we left out of that in like 8th grade and then I think, no, seven, I got that done in 6th grade. 7th grade, 8th grade was, there was none. And I'm like, I kind of, I kept playing on my hair again. So, um, beginning of ninth grade, I got done just one side bleached. And it was like another like honey brown, honey like honey brown instead of a blonde. And so then we went to, I did it again and this was a bit, um, lighter. But not as light as this is right now. And, um... It was the purple that we saw it for, and now it's basically, it's supposed to look bluish green, as I said before. I didn't like it at first, because I was like, oh my god, I look like a troll. Like, I was thinking of the Trolls movie, and when I saw this, I'm like, now that it's grown on me, I kind of like it. I think it's more me than what I was actually going for with this. Um, the blonde is yellow as essentially is why I said my hair is not that great at bleaching, bleaching hair. It's essentially yellow and um yeah so we'll see how that goes for the next color. I'll have to ch you know do my choice to pick my colors choices wisely because blue I was like why is it green? Like I was just watching I'm like why is it green? And I realized that green and blue make no blue and yellow make blue green so like that's that. But I'm actually very happy with this choice, with this color, and I think this is great. I think people should try this. So, yeah. I tend, I've tend i only used this hair dye, and I don't think I'm going to try anything else. I know there's Arctic Fox and all that stuff like that, but honestly, this seems... I have no. I don't know what Arctic Fox has. I'm on the Panic Panic, but I know this for sure. This has helped my hair a lot, and my hair is very thin. Not thin. It's very thin and soft, so it's very easy to break off. And, um, like, I can literally burn myself with my own hair because my hair holds heat as well. It's a really weird thing. I don't know why it happens, but it just happens. So, 
yeah, I think this works best for my hair. I would, I would try lime cream and stuff like that. And, um, yeah. Maybe not right now. Maybe later on in life when I could care less about my hair. And I'm, like, older and my hair is starting to, like, slightly fall out. And it's gray. And, like, this is the best time to color your hair when it's gray. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching this. Um, it's kind of different from all my other videos. And, yeah, so... I'll see you guys in the next video, which I possibly am filming right after this video. So I got what I needed in the book mail P.O. box today. What could it be? P.O. box? Okay, never mind. But like, that's totally weird. But all right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.